Welcome back. Now it's time for challenge number two, the next challenge of the course. So in our challenge intro lectures, we'll review some of the things we've learned so far and set up the new challenge scenario with you acting as a Salesforce administrator for universal containers. To kind of flesh out your role a little bit more, you work from home. So you're able to work, wake up, go through your morning routine, make some fresh coffee, coffee slide, and sit down at your desk to start the day. You take your first sip of coffee and always love that first sip feeling. You're feeling great because yesterday in challenge one, you delivered useful automation to your company, Universal Containers. The flow from the previous challenge where we mapped a lead field to the opportunity amount field is already saving the sales team time. Today, you see there is a new help desk case available in your help desk queue. It's labeled automatically update the task owner. That's the subject of uh, the help desk case. So you assign the case to yourself and you read the description a little bit more. The case was created by Sherry, who is a manager for the Universal Container Service Team. She says that when her team uses the assigned coordinator pickless field on the task object, that they are also required to update the owner of the task to match that assigned coordinator. She wants to know if the Salesforce team, which is you, can automate changing the owner of the task when that pick list changes. And so that's the end of the story, and we'll go to the next slide. And just to give you a, an overview, um, basically there is a picklist field called assigned coordinator, which is on the task object, and Sherry is asking us to automatically update the owner of the task to equal that pick list. And so this right now is sort of a data entry problem that's taking Sherry and her team a lot of time every day, and so uh, we need to solve it. So that's the overview. Um, we're gonna go through some pre-work in this challenge where we create some additional user records inside Salesforce so that we can test out changing the task owner. We're also gonna build this pick list on the task object because in, uh, in our uh, Salesforce environment in Trailhead, it doesn't currently exist. So we'll build it out to kind of emulate the business. Then we will uh, use the flow builder to build the flow. We'll do some testing to test the functionality and ensure it's working properly. We'll rework any of the errors that we find. And finally, we'll get back together in a lecture like this and summarize what we've learned. So let's get started in the challenge rework in the next lecture.